Look, Daddy, it's you. Let's go out to play, Daddy. is Eleanor, and she is mine. Now, kneel, please. Remove your helmet. Now, take the pistol. Place it against your head. Where am I? And also, that introduction was wild. Did you see the terror on that little girl's face when I literally killed myself in front of her? Wow. I feel like the graphics in part two are so much better. If you are killed by the hostile denizens of rapture you will be revived live and whole at the last vita chamber you passed some of your health will be restored and you will always have at least a small amount of eve via chambers work automatically there is no need to activate them if you are revived while you have a little sister with you she will be found waiting for you outside the vita chamber remember to pick her up before moving on that's right, we are playing Bioshock 2. Welcome to the first episode. This is Lover of Ladies. Man, I definitely missed this place. Sure, part one was a little bit hazy. Barely remember it, but I assume part two would be a lot more better. Wow, look at all these photos, these pictures. But man, that that was pretty sad. Seeing Big Daddy just off himself like that. I know that little girl is so devastated, but that scientist, I assume that woman was some sort of a scientist telling me what to do. 
some nerve. Press R2 to smash the coral blocking door. Nice. That's cute. Okay. Nice. I love it. I love it. So, you know how in part one we played as a protagonist? Well, guess what? Part two, I guess we're playing as Big Daddy, which is the new protagonist. I mean, part one, we were just a regular man who... Whoa! Whoa! You saw that? Oh, gosh. What is this? First of all, let me see if I'm able to... Lamb is watching. There's nothing for me to take here, so... Yeah, you know me, I'm that type. I like being nosy. But sometimes it actually does pay to be nosy. That's how you end up finding some extra goodies. Wow, I can't believe it. I'm actually playing as Big Daddy for once. Because in part one, half the time, I was trying to avoid the big daddies. Because if you mess with them, they actually do try and kill you. Do you hear me? Is there anything for me to take here? No, nothing. Okay, let's check out this area here. Hello? Ooh. Nurse, wield this. Ah! Lead head splicer. Despite the ravages of atom withdrawal, lead head splicers have retained enough fine mortar control to aim and fire pistols, shotguns, and machine guns. A lead head splicer puts survival first and will run for cover during a fire fight. Their deadly accuracy makes even a single lead head splicer a formidable threat. Splicer's term for the inhabitants of Rapture who lost their humanity from using too many plasmids. Anyways. What's over here? Key code? 1540. That has to be it. Uh, 1... Come on. 1... 5... 4... 0. <gasps> what? Corpses, whether created by your own hand or some other accident of rapture, often have useful items on them, such as ammo, first aid kits, Eve hypos, and other supplies. Press X to search a corpse, then press X again to take the contents. Most enemies carry at least a little ammo and cash, so be sure to search your fallen foes before moving on. If you have already searched and emptied a corpse, the name of the corpse will be gray and there will be no prompt to search it. Ooh, thank you. I appreciate that. And of course, the money. Who can't forget the money? Am I right? My husband is such a perfect idiot. Throws away all his spending money on gene tonics to affect a look of physical fitness. So he'll have an excuse to sit on his rear all day listening to radio serials. Steven, I tell him, you want to be fit? Come swim laps with me, the old-fashioned way. It's your mind that's atrophying. Maybe I'll start sneaking some brain boost into his daily regimen. That is so cute. Just like in part one, you're able to listen to recordings. Lamb is watching. So that's the lady? Her name is Lamb? I can't wait to get you. you Piss me off. Ooh, a deposit. Thank you. I appreciate it. Wait, I can... Huh. 
Huh, I can use this as much as I want? Hold on. Oh, snap, I can use this as much as I want. Say less. What's my limit? Let me see. I wonder what my limit is. I feel like this is... Oh, so my limit is five. At least we know. Hello? Father. Whoa, that was such a flashback. I wonder what triggered it. From Eleanor. Huh. Maybe seeing this triggered it. Whoa! Ooh. Ooh, that is not good. Wait, who's that? Daddy was sleeping for such a long time, and Eleanor has missed you. Find her and you'll be all better. Eleanor? Is that you? Whoa! Daddy! Oh, hell no! Let's go. Let's go. The disrespect. Where's my baby? Leave me alone, you fuckers. I know. I know. You fuckers. How dare you? Ah, I got my powers. Nice. What else? Oh, bye. Bye. Oh, I gotta find more fuel because my drills pretty low. Well, first of all, let me see. Is this it? Okay, we should be good, right? Well, first off, let me see this. Okay, thank you. Ah, at last, a signal. You, who are bringing this dead city to life, listen. My okay. name, it is Tannenbaum. I know who you are, and what? I am in much need of your help. Please, find me in the Atlantic Express train station. Okay, so I gotta find the train station, but first, let me see who this person is. Thuggish splicers rely on brute force, bashing their enemies with any implement that comes to hand. A wrench or a lead pipe being popular choices. Thuggish slicers are perhaps the most fair gone, having lost the ability to manipulate a gun's trigger. Thuggish splices, sorry, try and say that pretty fast. Thuggish splicers throw themselves at their target without regard for their own safety, making them a deadly and relentless foe. Splicer is a term for the inhabitants of Rapture, who lost her humanity from using too many plasmids. Are you a thuggish one? Yeah, you are. Okay. Alright then. So, with that being said, let's go this way. And right here. Because I gotta get that little girl back, you know. What? I see another big daddy here. Okay. Open up. No. Had a taste of oh, what? <laughs> Next. You done? This is Doctor Sophia La with a message for the people. Remember, you are not alone. Think of me not as leader, but as mother to the Rapture family. As if, lady. I just want to get the kid back. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay. Huh? <laughs> nice. Oh, this is nice. I am loving the weapons in this game. I feel like the weapons here are way better than part two. Uh, part one, sorry. Okay, so let me take a look here. 
Wow. I mean, it's pretty consistent in terms of the looks. So many ads around, so many crazy people running around. Ooh, another one. Barely made it down alive. But here it is. And it's real. Rapture. This is where that thing took my... my poor baby girl. From what I saw in the sub, most of the city's in ruins. But there were lights here and there. And shapes moving. Ugh, oh, I'm rambling, scared, I guess. But maybe, if I find this Dr. Lamb I keep hearing over the PA, I'll find Cindy too. So his kid is also missing. How unfortunate. I'm not even surprised. Alright, so no one here. Best bet would be to go upstairs. Hey, honey. There you are. Come. Come with me. Let's go. Oh, that's a big needle. I'm not gonna lie. Hi. Hey, little one. Daddy, big sister doesn't want you playing with me. Who are you? Ooh, you're a nasty fellow, I can tell. Come here. There you go. Ooh, okay. Bye. Let's go. Let's go. Nope. Sorry. Come on. There you go. Come on. I'm gonna get you for sure. Oh, uh, you're hard to kill. I can tell. Come on. Ooh. Oh, gosh. This is horrible. Come here. Where you at? Oh, he just ran off. This is Dr. Sophia Lamb with a message for the people. Remember, Big Sister is always watching. To Big Sister? Is to steal from the Rapture family. Your family. First of all, I'm protecting the kids, just like how I've always done in part one. Diane insisted that we spend a weekend at the Adonis. And already I find myself seeking a respite from my vacation. But she deems it necessary to chide me for working. The words dissolve into an endless animal bleat. I founded Rapture to be free of law and God, to live among those for whom work is our wage. Yet, when Diane speaks of bearing my child, I am given pause. Till now, I had never considered my legacy. Perhaps, perhaps after the new year. After the new year? Clearly this man doesn't even want to be a dad, but whatever. I guess he's doing it out of convenience so his legacy can keep going. Whatever, though. Alright, thank goodness I got so many first aid kits. I don't know what I would have been doing without them. Alright, I'm ready. We will be reborn in the womb of the... I don't even know what that last part says, but whatever. Oh yeah, this is totally not scary at all. Nice. I love it. Oh no. Oh, you stupid little... I'm dead. I'm drowned. Can I even survive? Oh wow. Everything is underwater now. Okay, alright. We good. We good. Everything's underwater, sure, but we got this. Let's just keep going, okay? We'll be able to 
In that suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there. What the hell? Oh, okay. I see that there's a big daddy that's killing people. That's good. See? He's killing all of the... The bad guys here. I gotta go and... See how I can help because I gotta save that little girl. Man. Ooh, a shark! I wonder how... Yo, I can't even see the surface. How deep am I in this ocean? Take that, thank you. Amazing. It's like the chaos has never dwindled. Seems like it's been crazy this whole time. I could have sworn in part one though I've ended everything. So how did the rapture... Oh, oh, oh snap. Okay, I guess I'm going down, sure. We Okay. I can't believe that the rapture actually kept going. Oh, that's the little guy. Come here, jerk. I'm ready. Come on, I can't jump. Oh, he went on top of the building. I got you. Say less. I'm coming in. Let's go. I am coming in. Yay! Ah, Herr Delta. You arrive, as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. Okay, so where do I go for the ticket booth? Oh, nice. Oh, I see someone running! I see someone running. How do I switch weapons, though? Hold on. Is it... Oh, okay, so... That's to switch my powers. Oh, okay, so... R1 is to switch weapons. L1 is to switch my powers, so... Atlantic... Sorry, Atlantic Express Maintenance Facility. Cool. Alright, who who do I gotta beat? Ooh, okay. What? You low jerk! Now most who survive are like this. Splicers. They're drug addicts. Vicious animals. Ooh, a hacking tool! Yay! Nice, thank you. I appreciate it. I just love being able to hack, you know? And I'm gonna keep on doing this too. Hold on, give me more, give me more. How many can I take? I'm just curious. Use the hack tool on the door. Oh. Is this not the right one? No? Alright, I guess this is not it. Oh, that door. To hack a machine, press X to stop the needle on the green section of the meter to advance. White will give you a nasty shock. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Yes. Hack successful. Result of successful hack. Secure door is now unlocked. Can I take more? No? Oh, I can't take any more. Whatever. That's cool. You can also presumably hack by approaching a machine and pressing X. Ooh. Hack security bots are friendly and will attack your enemies. Get a blue bonus while hacking to upgrade their damage. Right. We will be reborn. Whatever. Come on. Get up. 
You got this. I remember dealing with these machines in part one. They were so annoying to kill. Oh! I see him! Come here! Come here! Where you at? I hear you laughing. I hear you laughing. Uh, the drill. I'm gonna use this, actually. Is, is he in the submarine? Anyways, anyways. Y'all done? Y'all done? This is Dr. Sophia Lamb. Andrew Ryan is dead, but the tyrant dwells within us all. Remember, we reject the gene. We reject the self. We reject the tyrant. Oh, so did this happen right after the first part protagonist killed Andrew cuz that that makes sense what oh come on what now what now i know you that symbol on your hand marks you a dead man 10 years subject delta since i watched you put a gun to your head and yeah. pull the trigger. Because you made me. But take heart. Out of your pain, paradise was born. I don't know how you survived, but your suffering is over now. These men will ease your burden. Please understand that like all I have done, this is an act of love. Bullshit, Lamb. It is Sophia Lamb. She has found you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I can't wait. Ooh, that's cute! And I'm on fire. I'm about to die. Let's go. Can I not jump? And I fell. Of course. Once again, I am swimming my life. Thank goodness I'm wearing this suit because... I would have been dead. Wait, search the corpse? Say less. Thank you. Now you know of the enemy we share. Yes. Sophia Lamb. The camera in your helmet allows me to watch through your eyes and help you to fight her. Wait, you put a camera on my helmet without my consent? Wow, lady. Talk about trust, am I right? Alright, is there anything in here? Nope. We should be good, right? Woo! That is one hell of a, uh... One hell of a, uh, scene she made. Okay, I should be good, right? Is there anything for me to pick here? Nope. Nothing for me. Let's go. Careful! Security cameras belong to Lam, but if you are clever, they can be made to serve you. I see someone coming. Who's there? Shut face, up. Baby. Next, who's next? Anyways, trying to scare me. Shut up. What's that? Oh, I was about to say, there's a fly in here, too? Get out. Mad work. Mad work, indeed. I'll take that. You're not gonna need this. Where's the other body? You're not gonna need that, either. This is good. Yes, I love it. Take that. Thank you. Is there anything I can search here? Nope. Okay. Nothing for me here. Because, you know, I love taking stuff. That's me. Nothing here. Ooh, money. Yes. First aid kit. I definitely need that for sure. Um, This room is so messy. But yeah, so... At least we have an idea on the time frame between Bioshock 1 and Bioshock 2. Seems like part 2 takes place... Immediately after part one. 
Okay, so I don't see anything else here. Well, I see people over there, but... Alright. This is nice. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. Mother won't be able to... to toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, find me. I will. I will, baby, I will. Say less. Let me see if this works. Come soon to come find me. New plasma telekinesis. Pick up big stuff with your mind. Throw it at your enemies. What else do you need to know? Yes. Throw objects at foes. You can even catch grenades and throw them back. Press and hold L2 to grab objects with telekinesis. Release L2 to throw them. Oh, that's sick. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have so much fun, for sure. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.